In this video I'm pretty much going to show you how you should install Crucial RAM onto your mid-2009 MacBook Pro. Now Crucial have been nice enough to send along 4GB of RAM and I'm pretty much going to show you how easy it is to install RAM onto a MacBook Pro. Now you could do the stupid thing and get the RAM from Apple themselves. They're going to overcharge you. It's quite commonly known, even me being an Apple enthusiast, I know they pretty much rip you off um, on RAM prices. There is no special thing about Apple RAM, it's not going to make it go faster, it hasn't got diamonds or anything on it. So I would recommend visiting Crucial. Now, even before this I've always used Crucial and I've used Crucial with two main things. The first one is their RAM selector system is really accurate, it's good, it saves time, you don't have to go through you know, X amount of pages or through so much hassle in order to find out what RAM you need for your machine. The second thing why I prefer Crucial to other companies is, is the previous experience I've had with them. Now two or three years ago, I think it was 2006, and I bought RAM from the Crucial website just before Christmas and I accidentally bought the wrong RAM. Now I know it's kind of stupid, now because I ordered so many stuff off the internet, I, it's a really run down for me so I type everything so fast I don't even look what I've bought until it actually arrives. So the wrong module came through, I phoned them up and it was the last posting date for Christmas, so meaning um, you know, I wanted the RAM before Christmas, otherwise I would have had to wait till January to get it. And I explained the situation and they upgraded the order for free. Um, and I guess that's what I like about them is they care about their customers, they understand their needs and they were nice enough to send RAM. So, now getting back to this, how are you going to do it? You'll need um, a, a, precision, a precision screwdriver set and by chance I've got the Rolson. It is in and I'm going to take off all the screws of the MacBook Pro. Whilst I'm taking the screws off, it's important that when you do get a screwdriver, make sure you get one of those magnetic ones such as this. The reason why I say it is because the screws of the MacBook Pro on the case are so tiny that if they fall off and they fall on the ground, they could become a mission in itself. So as you can see, the screws actually stuck onto the actual screwdriver, which is good and it's always good to have all your screws onto the, the glass so you know where you're keeping them. All the screws of the MacBook Pro are out and if you're not here, all the screws are lying on this glass of the screwdriver set. And it's also worthy noting when you're doing this, make sure when you take the screws out you put them in order of where they came out of the machine. So these three big screws came out from the top here, top of the MacBook, these three. So it just makes it easier for when you're putting everything back. Because the very first time I done this, when I put the hard drive in, this has got a larger hard drive that I put in myself. Again, that was easy. If you haven't seen that video, click here. And when I was putting the hard drive in, I just put all the screws in here and they all got mixed up. And then when I was putting it all back in, it became a nightmare. So make sure when you put taking the screws out, you put them in exactly the same position as they should go back in. So it just makes it easy for you. So now that the screws are off, this should just come off. There we go. That is it off. Should really been doing this on the screen. Oh, oh. We still have one screw, which I have missed. Fail. <laughs> I was wondering why it wasn't coming off. There we go, it's off now. Put this in position. And that has a screw ever fallen down. And here we go. This is the MacBook Pro. Naked pretty much. Now you've got to find the RAM and I can spot it a mile away. The RAM, that is it, in, that is it here. So as you can see at the moment I've only got 2GB RAM and I'm going to put another module in. We'll take this one out and put these two in so these are 2GB, 2GB which equals 4 for those who are not good at maths. Pretty straightforward, what I'm going to do is uh, there's two levers on the side of the RAM and I'm just going to pull them outwards and it's flicked out as you can see. Whoops, and there's another RAM underneath it as well. 
which I did not notice, obviously because this one was on top of it. So to take it safely, and again for the bottom one, the same procedure, flick it out, and there we go. And both of these two rams, damn, that is really tiny. <sighs> Anyways, putting more ram in. Bear in mind this is the first time I'm doing this. I've never actually put additional RAM into a laptop. I've always I've changed the hard drives quite a few times. But this is literally the first time I'm putting RAM in. Opening the, the crucial RAM up. And there we go. Crucial. Putting this in. Upside down, that should help. And I'm just going to sneak it into the bottom one. Is that it in? Is that it in? I think that's into position. And it's time to put RAM number 2 in. Again, it'd be handy if you guys have done this before. Do comment below if you've done something like this before. What kind of RAM do you prefer? Have you used Crucial before? It's a well-known company, not in just the UK, but worldwide, that's known quite well. So do let me know what you guys think or what RAM you prefer. And this is the second module going in. So this will make it um, 4 GB and all. Sliding it in. Sorry if I'm quiet, it's just that. Um, there we go. And that is the 4 gigs installed. Easy peasy lemon easy, as they say. And uh, what I'm going to do is close it back up and boot it up. And over the next few days and weeks, I'm going to give you some tests give you my review on the RAM, have, you know, is, have I seen any changes and I'll report back and again I'll report back on this main YouTube channel of mine and um, yeah I'm just going to close it up and boot it up yeah. so the RAM has been installed indeed and the screws have gone back on to the back of the machine and I'm going to do a first boot and see if my work has indeed worked um, i.e. whether I've installed the RAM in properly but I'm fairly confident that I have installed the RAM in properly so let's give this a go. The white screen and the sound is coming on, which is a good sign, I think. Shout out to one of you guys on Twitter who gave me a link, which helps one to, you know, identify how you should put the RAM in. I must say I did not look at that link. Thanks for sending it, but I just didn't get time to look at it. I thought I would give it a go on my own and see if I can do it properly or not. So, wow. I'm thinking I've done it right since it's loaded up. Let's go into the about this Mac. And there we go. Wow. Let me put the brightness up so you can actually see. 4GB DDR3 and that's pretty much my MacBook. Done and dusted in terms of RAMness, if that's what you want to say. So I'm going to be testing this out over the next few days, checking it out see if there's any speed improvements obviously there are going to be speed improvements how significant they are and pretty much going to give you my feedback on my channel on my youtube channel and i'll even do a blog on it um but um, that's it for this video thanks for tuning in if you've recently upgraded your ram or you're thinking of getting ram i would highly recommend going for crucial fantastic company to you know get your ram and they also do ssd drives so it's worthwhile investing in Crucial. The customer service is again fantastic and I can't recommend them enough. Thanks for watching. Cheers.